Hey, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here. Welcome back to the Pokemon Black and White Live Decks. Uh, last episode, we caught ourselves the daily swarm encounter of Minen. This episode, uh, I don't know. We're gonna go check around for where Yancy wants to call us. And once we're able to call her, we're gonna go see what her trade for the day is, which I completely forgot at this point. I know eventually we had Spirit Tomb and Snorlax, but I'm pretty sure they're like way later on, so... I, I genuinely don't know what we could get here. It could be just about anything. Alright, anyway, let's go check Route 6, which is where we do want to check there. Okay, get them there. And then we go up to... Opelucid. Yeah, we're just gonna check for a daily daily trade, and then I think that'll be it. Cause we already did our uh, we did join Avenue with our daily swarm, cause we forgot to do it last time. And I remembered it right then, and it was right there, so you know, might as well. And I guess maybe we should check before we finish the trade to see if we got an egg, and pick one of those up. But I guess we we don't really have a slot for one right now, so whatever. But yeah, I, I kind of forgot there were swarms that were version exclusives. That's that was uh, pretty interesting to see. Let's go catch ourselves whatever this is gonna be. I don't even remember what we got last up. Oh yeah, we got shield on. I was I was talking about it. Is I I recorded the last episode not that long ago. Uh, I just kind of stayed up. Like, I was doing other stuff, like ranking up in competitive deathmatch in Overwatch. I don't know how long ago that'll be uploaded when the time this goes live. Kind of lost track into how far in the future uh, these will go live. So you can go back. I, uh, today is the day that I got... Uh, it's, it's something called, like, ranking up in competitive deathmatch very hard or something. Uh, it's, it's... What day is it? Yeah, May 20th. I guess it's not May 20th anymore, but it's like uh, 1 in the morning, so, you know. Anyway, we got our trade set up. Let's go to Nambasa and go claim it. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be the end of this episode. And I think we'll maybe try to catch Volcarona after the next Swarm and Daily Trade, if I remember to do that. Kinda depends on when I have free time. I've been doing this, now that I did all the main story stuff, everything I'm doing now is a lot more casual, and it's like... All right, I got some free time. I don't feel like playing anything else. Let me just, yeah, you know, let me let me give this a shot. Let me play some Pokemon. It's actually been really fun replaying this game and slowly catching everything. But it is a very lengthy process. Although I've done all the hard research at this point, like I've looked up every Pokemon you get in this game. I think I've gotten all the stupid mechanics out of the way. Like anything very annoying that I have to do for a while or that I have to do a lot to uh, kind of activate. I think I've kind of done that stuff. Like the Yancey side quest, this took me like several hours, but I, I have it done now. All right, there is, there's the hidden grottos. That's something I'm constantly checking. And, and that's something I completely forgot existed because you know, in the main story, you never really have to check them. But they're a pretty cool feature. Oh, Rhyhorn, interesting. Sure, I'll take a Rhyhorn. You can have A or Absol. Yeah. This will be this will be in the episode. I mean, I'm gonna still walk to the left like I always do because I don't think I should save by the carnival. But yeah, I wonder what item it'll be holding. Or I completely forgot. Is lightning horn at the? Uh... Is lightning horn the hidden ability for Rayhorn? Let's see Rayhorn. Because I remember this thing gets like lightning rod or whatever. Or at least evolution does. No, lightning rod's a normal one. Rockhead's also normal one, but it gets reckless, so anything that has... Anything... Sorry, the power of moves that have recoil is increased by 20%. Okay, so like, recoil-based moves like Double Edge, I guess do more damage and by extension have more recoil. That's pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah, let's go take the item off of it, and then end off the episode. I don't actually know what it comes with. Rare candy! That's always nice. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.